third experiment sorting an array in ascending or descending order using h051 microcontrol <coughs> okay so namaku same program aanu we can uh, modify to uh, ascending to descending or descending to ascending by a simple or a small correction okay let us check how we can implement this uh, sorting okay so our input data will be uh, inside or in, in our internal memory so internal memory let it be at uh, starting from 30 31 32 32 so these locations how our input data say th up to 3f we have the internal data so 16 location 16 data are there we need to sort them in ascending or in descending order so the data here it will be suppose it is fe then 01 50 52 etc then 81 okay so out of this number the highest number here is fe and the smallest number is uh, 01 okay and the ascending order means starts from 01 increase increase and finally it end with the fe like this we need to do the sorting so sorting technique here is we will take the value fe to say b register and the 01 to accumulator okay then accumulator and b register will make a compare by cj ne a comma b comma a label okay label will be the next instruction we just want to check whether uh, accumulator is more than b register okay now what is the comparison instruction is doing on the flags if a is less than b a is less than b carry flag will be one and if a is less than b carry flag will be zero okay so if a is less than b a is where it is in our Mm, second data okay we will take the first data and second data first data in b register and second data in a register so 01 is less than fe in that case for ascending order sorting we need to exchange them so if carry flag is set if carry flag is set we will do uh, an exchange operation otherwise we will go for next two data okay so at the uh, once we complete then loop uh, this looping up to the number of data then we will repeat this action so in the single sort what will happen this fe will move move more slowly and finally will reach the destination final location so fe will move to here in the first iteration then fe will move to the third location in the second iteration then fe will move here in the fourth iteration etc etc after one loop completed its sorting only fe will bring or will come to the topmost position and the other elements will be not sorted okay so we need to repeat this action this looping this sorting action number of n number of times again so that after n into n operation actually we don't want to do this n into n n into n operation all the elements will be in the sorted form okay so we need a nested loop here not a single loop loop inside a loop we need to do the complete sorting of the data from uh, 30 to 3f okay so let's check how we can implement this uh, program so okay so our program as usual we have an origin origin 000h okay then we need to implement one one more things i would like to tell you if there are 16 data 16 data in our location at a time we are doing we are performing a comparison between the first data and second data first data and second data will come to our loop within uh, or in the first iterate itself okay second and third will come to uh, in the second iteration so we want uh, n minus 1 count total number of elements minus 1 in only in our count so let as make r4 as okay move r4 comma hash if there are 16 which corresponds to binary hexadecimal 10 10 data in our uh, array we need to take only 10 minus 1 which is 0f data okay so 0f h to r4 register then we need to implement a nested loop so we are initializing two registers r4 and r3 with the count 0fh okay then we will we need to bring uh, our r0 register to uh, uh, as the memory pointer to the first location so move r0 comma hash 30h 
okay initial uh, we po pointed to the first location then we need to bring the data from the memory pointed by the 30 for that instruction is move a comma at r0 okay that data we need to change to the b register for comparison move b comma a next we will increase inc r0 we will take to the uh, next memory pointer then we will bring that data from there to accumulator so move a comma r0 so here it is from 30 here it is from 31 so now 31 data uh, 30 location 31 data will be in accumulator 30 data will be in the uh, b register then we will do the comparison instruction c j n e a comma b comma we'll put one uh, label continue okay so continues nothing but it will be here we don't want to do any jump action here only we want to check carry flag is set or reset okay so uh, in order to have the uh, what you say uh, ascending order here the instruction here is uh, jambon no carry jambon no carry j n c skip that means if carry flag is set we need to do the what you say uh, exchange of data from 30 and 31 when carry flag is set uh, so when a register is carry flag will be set when a is smaller when a is smaller means second data is smaller we need to do the real exchange so uh, if the second data is bigger we don't want so we don't want to exchange then uh, we need to skip also so jump on no carry skip here we will move the data at r0 then b okay so from 30 it will go to 31 then we need to decrease the value of r0 to point to 30 then move at r0 comma a so it is exchanged here then we need to point data to the previous or 31 it should be 31 for the next iteration so inc r0 okay inc r0 so this is what about uh, exchange of data exchange of data action is to be performed only when the carry flag is set if the carry flag is reset we need to skip this so here is the label skip okay now what to do after the exchange or the comparison we need to decrease the value of r3 we need to the perform the action until the last elements is checked for that we can do d decrement and jumbo non zero d j n is set d j n is set which register it's r3 register r3 comma say loop one where must be the loop one it must be here bringing the accumulated content point from the memory pointed by r0 so here is our label loop one okay so loop one will bring data again that move to b register next point to 32 bring to the accumulator perform the comparison and perform the exchange if the case may be otherwise decrease the value decrease the count and continue up to uh, r3 become zero one r3 is zero we need to repeat the action again starting from 30 so for that d j n is at which counter it's r4 r4 comma again okay so again where it must be again must be here where r3 is loaded with the uh, original count and uh, pointing the memory to the initial location so here is our label again okay then after we have the stop action okay then finally end so the up to here our program is enough for performing what you called uh, 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 sorting and ascending order okay so if you want to implement so now this program i have explained in terms of ascending sorting okay sorting and ascending order now if you want to implement for descending uh, only the change you need to do here is jnc change to jc jambon carry so our action here is for ascending instruction must be j 
INC, JNC, skip. JNC, skip. JNC, then skip. For descending, what it must be? Uh, instruction must be jump on carry skip that is the difference between the program on ascending and uh, descending all other topic remains the same only one thing you need to remember here is this uh, initializing uh, the counter must be the number of data minus one n minus one this must be initialized with the number of data minus one now let us check how we can implement this in the Kill microvision. Okay, so program for sorting it is already loaded to the source group. So the same whatever we discussed there is I have already typed here. So that program we will execute once. Then for that uh, we will save our work. Then translate your work. Then build your work. Then go to the debug. Okay, one more thing. Here I have used uh, R4 as 0, 04, meaning I am taking only the 5 data just for easiness. So I don't want to input that 16 memory data. Okay, so uh, we are just checking with the 5 data only here. So for that, first file location for starting from 30 will load data before running our program. So debug, start bar stop. Okay. Then we'll start with our uh, data. It is from 30. 30 is having, we will need to input some data. Say FF. Then here 25. Then 36. Then 0, 02. And 0, 01. So 2, 3, 4, 5 five data five memory locations are already filled because uh, i already told you the data here we i have we have entered to the r4 and r3 0 4 mean you are taking only the first five memory locations from 30 we don't want to go for this whole entry let's see okay if you want to take with the 16 data you need to load here 0 f okay now we will run our program okay before that we need to check its jump on no carry jump on no carry means in ascending order then stop your program then after stopping you will be able to find the result 0 1 then 0 2 then 25 then 36 then f of so that means this data is already sorted in ascending order okay now if you want to test with for what you say for descending what is the only modification here jump on no carry change to jump on carry save your work Translate your program, build your program, go to debug, start bar stop. Okay, then we need to change the data. Uh, say 02, 01, 0, 1, FF, 86, 32. Okay, five data, five data is already entered here. So it is descending order. So the highest number will come first here, FF, then 86, then 32, then 02, then 01. So highest number is FF, smallest number is 01. Let us check how it work. Then stop your work. Yeah. So highest number came first, then next, then next, then next, and then next. So only one slight modification from here, JNC to JC. JNC make the sorting in ascending order. Jump on carry makes the sorting in descending order. Okay. So this is about sorting of the array in ascending or descending order.